So the way that I like to fry fish is very minimal on the coating. I don't like a lot of coating and I don't like it breaded and I just shallow fry it. So for this recipe I've got some adobo seasoning which is totally optional. I just kind of like the extra stuff that it's got in it. Um, onion powder, garlic powder, salt, pepper, and cornmeal. Um, extra fine cornmeal. This here is um, some field corn that a guy from our church grows and he gave us a ton like I, I swear the cooler weighed a ton of field corn and we cut it off the cob we dehydrated it um, cleaned it all the the husk stuff out of it and then ground it ourselves I have a whisper mill so this is fresh ground cornmeal um, you can use from the store just as long as it's extra fine um, and then a skillet with oil in it now, um, this is grits here. <laughs> Don't be confused with that. I'm making cheese grits to go with our fish, but let's just move that. There. So, um, like I said, I like it minimal. So I'm going to start. I've got a, um, a pot here, not a pot, a, a dish here that has deep sides. That way I don't get it all over the place when I'm breading. And you can use whatever kind of fish that you want. Um, we've got uh, some mullet here. Um, Dad, Dad is a family friend of ours who kind of acts like the dad of everybody. Um, but he went fishing and caught a ton of mullet. So, um, cleaned them up, got the fillets here. You can see there's a ton of mullet. So I've got my cornmeal, do my pepper, put a good amount of salt. Remember when you fry it, sometimes the seasoning comes off. This is my garlic, onion, and a touch of adobo. I think I'm going to add just a touch more cornmeal. But you'll be able to tell just by looking at it. Let me grab a fork. And then just mix it all up together. And this is how I bread my fish, just with this right here. Super simple. Um, sometimes I use cornmeal mix, but I find if I put flour in it, it burns faster. So I don't, I don't like to use any kind of flour. And just the cornmeal on its own, you can feel it. Yeah, that's good. Or if you want to, you can just try it. Yeah, it's going to taste like cornmeal and spices, but you will be able to tell what it tastes like. And how it's going to taste on the fish. So, this is good for me. I, I already know just because I, I do this quite often that this is good. So, I'm waiting for my pan to heat up. I don't know if you can see how high. I, there's not a whole lot of oil in it. Not at all. Just enough to kind of coat the bottom and then just a just a touch higher. Because I, I don't want to completely submerge them in oil. I, I like to shallow fry them. So, let me let this heat up. You can tell if it's heating up. Drop some of your... Kind of throw your little bit of your cornmeal mix in there and it fries a little not quite it's almost ready you don't want your oil to be too cool because then it's going to um, soak up oil rather than fry it and make it crispy so you can see that it stopped frying in there so it's not not quite ready give it just another couple minutes and we will start our frying i knew i forgot something seafood seasoning like old bay or something i put a little in here i don't want it to get too spicy because sometimes it can be. Um, I just kind of want a little bit of that seasoning. Um, you can omit the adobo altogether and just use seafood instead. Um, I kind of like them both. I like the flavor combination. So now I'm going to start dredging the fish and start my frying. So I start by just dropping the fillets in the, the mixture and coating them. I said it's much easier with two hands. them over. I said just kind of pack it on. Make sure it gets all over. Then just kind of shake them a little and right into the fryer they go.
and I don't do too many at a time because I don't want to overcrowd the pan and make the oil too um, cool because then it will not cook them quickly. It will um, kind of like steam them. It'll make them real soggy and they'll absorb a lot of oil. So these will only sit for just a few minutes. Um, it's not going to take long at all. I have a pan here that I put um, the fish on when they're done just so the grease can drip to the bottom. And I'm just going to do them in batches like this and we'll be back when they're done. So the first thing you do is make the grits according to the directions. Um, I have old fashioned grits here. Um, you, I'm, I'm frying fish so we wanted cheese grits with dinner and frying fish sometimes can take a while if you have as many batches to cook as I do. Um, so these are the old fashioned grits but you can use the quick grits if you prefer and these are ready and the secret to good grits to great grits is this right here just plain good old American cheese people may talk about all this great high quality expensive imported cheeses no no the best grits American cheese and a touch of heavy cream to help thin them out I promise you best grits ever so here's two batches now that those are done I still have quite a few batches to go the way I like to finish it with is a very very light hand of salt sprinkle it over the top and these are ready to eat hope you enjoy